Right, hi guys. Um, I wanted to start showing you how I make some of the elements that I put on the drawings. And I'm going to start with the scale. Uh, you're familiar with this drawing already because that's the heading of the Facebook group. And in the bottom left corner there's my little scale. To just to show visually, just to make it easy visually to um, to, to show um, the distances. The scale, I'm just going to copy this, this particular scale. Um, you can make it any, uh, any units or any distances that you particularly require. Uh, so let's start off with a new document. I pressed Ctrl N for a shortcut and I need a horizontal line and the easiest way to draw a horizontal line is to use a guide um, if you see on top here there's a uh, there's a ruler so if you click and drag away from that ruler it gives you this horizontal guide which is perfectly horizontal and I let it go anywhere and I can use it to draw a straight line so here on my left there's a number of tools and I want the one that allows me to draw a straight line and the software has this function like many of this kind of these kind of software packages that it helps you be very exact in what you do uh, by the means of snapping there's a whole column of, of snapping uh, functions to the right and by default snapping to guides is is on so if I just click here once it starts my line and it's wait it's waiting for me to to um, to, to click again so I'm just going to click again and if I continue clicking it will continue drawing new elements I can mm, do back and I can do that and now I've got a shape which I don't need so control Z, click once, click the second time and if I don't continue I need to press enter and that gives me a line. So I need to modify that line, this will be my starting point. So I'm going to my tools on the left again, select and transform object, the, the one that looks like a cursor, click that. I want to zoom in to my line. I can do it in several ways. Uh, to the right, because my line is selected, to the right there's these magnifying glasses and the first one says zoom to fit selection in window. So clicking that brings you, uh, fills, fills the screen with that element. And uh, to make it easy on myself I work in millimeters and I want my scale to resemble 10 meters so it's easy for me if I make uh, my scale 100 millimeter long and so what we can do is we can just uh, go to the top here again my line is constantly selected so we go to the top here first I change the units from pixels to millimeters and obviously this is not a hundred so let me just highlight it delete it put a hundred in press enter and now my line is exactly a hundred uh, millimeters long so to make it nice and visible, I'm just going to change its width to 2 millimeters. And to do that, in this box here, Fill and Stroke, uh, you can see that there's tabs and this Stroke Style tab uh, will allow you to do that. So change again from pixels to millimeters and change that to 2, press Enter. And now our line is 100 millimeters long and 2 millimeters wide. So I might need to build to build up the rest of the scale. What I'll do is um, I'll copy this line. So I have it highlighted. I press Control C, and then I press Control V. And what I do with this is I shorten this, shorten this to 50 mil. So I'll take that and make it into 50 millimeter long line. So now I, what I need to do is I need to connect them, but as you can see, it's not really wanting to 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 do anything friendly. 
um, so to help it um, with the error of its ways we go to the right again there's um, all these snapping functions that I mentioned earlier and if you notice the element uh, when it's highlighted it's got this um, it's got this dashed line around it and that's the bounding box so even if I sort of rotate it, rotate it, the bounding box uh, takes the entire thing so I'm just gonna go control Z because that looks silly and I'm going to go to my snapping functions and I'm going to turn on the one that says snap bounding boxes click that gives me several options I want the one with box corners because it works and now what I can do is I can drag it close to it and it snaps together so now I know that these lines start exactly at the same point or at the same vertice and they're on top of each other that leaves me just this empty bit to fill and if you remember the previous drawing um, I use this alternating pattern and this is exactly what I'm after here so what I'll do is I'll do the exactly the same operation I'll take this line of mine that I've already got copied by control C and then make another instance of it but now I want to make it 10 millimeters long because in the 50 mil there's 5 10 millimeter long lines so 10 enter now it's only 10 millimeters long so copy that and paste it four times I'm just going to move the mouse so that they don't overlap so it's all visual for you so now that it's um, now that we have them there the snapping function is on so all I need to do is to bring them close in sequence and that's it but it's all black so if I go back to my first of the five and I go I see the bottom here there's there's all these colors this is color palette and if I ha if I go over the white it says in the bottom color white click to set fill shift click to set stroke so all of these elements are at the moment just line pieces so they're all stroke there's no fill in them so I need to press shift and click and that turns that white and I do that again here uh, I'm going to do it again of course shift click and highlight the last one shift click and that's now that's now my scale so the only thing that's left to do is to put that 10 meter uh, reference so again in in the left column there's this big A that says create and edit text object click that click somewhere here type 10 M and go back to my select and transform cursor and I want it a bit bigger so ah, that doesn't help me I'm going to press ctrl Z and go back to the top to lock my aspect ratio and I make it yay big and I put it here it's enough so now um, so now if I want to use it as a uh, as a library element for myself it will be useful that if I uh, take any of these if I try to drag it they all sort of come with me in the same uh, at the same time so in order to do that uh, we use a function called grouping so we can take all of these objects uh, we can highlight them all just by doing like we you do with icons on your desktop when you're really bored and you can use a shortcut control G or you can go to object and group and now if I click away and click in any of these elements this is all one object or it's treated as one object you can ungroup them actually and now they're separate again but let's just 
Let's just keep them together as friends. There we go. So they're all grouped now. And what does it mean in practice? In practice it means that um, I can now copy this entire thing and paste it into my drawing. And this will this will allow me to, to have this on the side of my drawing uh, page as, as a sort of a library and I can simply copy it and uh, paste it into place. So this is this is pretty much it. This is this is how you can make your little scale. Um, post your questions below, comments, and and tell me if this is helpful. Thank you very much, and until uh, next time.